look. Come on, man. We ain't gifts. We got a story. Come on. Girl, so we get to the office, y'all. Y'all, what's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? It's been a long time, man. A long time. I already know. I already know. <clears throat> look, I already know. I already know it's been a long time, but look, look, we back. We back like we never left. Okay, we back like we never left. And I got a lot of things I want to tell y'all, my subscribers who stayed down with me this far. Um. <clears throat> First off, do y'all like the intro, my new intro? Shout out to my girl Jay who made my intro in less than 24 hours, y'all. Hit up the same way she made her intro made in my bag. You have her Instagram in the description, so make sure you check her out. Uh, her links and things will be in the description. She was really, really reasonable. And make sure you tell her if he sent you, period. Okay? Okay, so today we're gonna go on jump started right into this story time. I'm gonna do a story time today because um people stay telling me to do story times. I never have anything to tell a story about. But I finally came up with a story that I wanted to tell y'all. So I'm gonna jump right into it. This is gonna be a story time about this my first time skipping school. Okay, so it was like a regular day and I had just decided I didn't want to go to school today. I didn't feel good or whatever. And my mama, she the type of mom, like she she knows like I do my work and all that. I always like been strict about school. I would literally ask anybody, if I got a C, I would cry. I would break down crying about that C. So my mom, she was like, okay. I told her I didn't feel well. She was just like, okay. Cause she had to go to work. She was always working uh, early in the morning. So, uh, I had, I was like, mom, I don't, like, I don't feel like I want to stay home. She was like, okay, all right, you, you can stay. And my dad, um, he stayed at home because he worked that night. So, I was just, you know, going back to sleep or whatever. And my two best friends, they stayed, I had two best friends at that time. And they stayed, I stayed about probably a 10-minute walk from school probably maybe like maybe eight minutes if we was walking fast and my best friend she stayed like behind the school but on another street like you get what i'm saying like she stayed behind the school and then in one of those little back streets okay and then my other best friend stayed directly two streets behind the school so i was kind of in a you know a circle my whole group of friends at that time we were in a uh, like a circle we wasn't far from each other you know so they uh used to out we always used to walk to school with each other like we always like meet up you know it was crazy we, we always used to meet up at a point or if i was if one of us woke up earlier than the next person we just walk and get each other <laughs> like yeah because i live in a small city and we we just you know we was close so we walk together we walk and get each other okay so they they didn't know that I wasn't going to school because we had phones, but like not like how we got phones now, right? So they didn't know I wasn't going to school. So both of them walked over my house, and I'm like, and my dad was there. And he was like, you might as well go go to school because they don't walked over here. Um, so you might as well go and go because they walked all the way over here. So you can't just have them girls walking over here because I was like, what? I didn't tell him to come. What? Like, what? I was really, I was really praying. And then they were just standing there like, you want to come on? I'm like, okay, so my dad like, come on, put some clothes on, go to school. Because they walked over here for you to go to school. So that must mean you were supposed to go to school. Because this type of person is science and all that. So... I put on my clothes and we walk in. We just talking. I'm like, oh, I really didn't want to go to school. I had already told my mom and she was like, cool. And y'all done walked over here and got me. And they was like, we didn't want to go either. But we walked over here to get you. That's why we walk. Because my house was the furthest from them. Like, they were close to each other. But my house was the furthest. But we were all close. Like, we were all close to the school. So, I'm like, okay, whatever. Like, I still don't want to go to school. So we talking, whatever they like. 
We could just skip. So I'm like, we really could, but you know, we, at this point, we're trying to think of places we can go. We can't go back to my house because my dad is in my house. We can't go to my best friend's house because her mom and her stepdad was in her house. <laughs> so it left my other friend. Dad left. Um, so we we didn't know where we we didn't know where we was gonna go. We couldn't go to my friend's house because her stepdad and her mom was there. So they left my other best friend house. She's telling us like, ain't nobody at the house, but my brother. We can go. We can chill at chill at my house. So in this at this point, we like cool. Okay, we finna go over her house. So her brother, he was cool. Like I think, I think he had just graduated or like he was just. He was cool, you know. So we got there and he was watching anime or whatever. And we just, it was like, okay, I'm, I'm moving ahead of myself. I'm moving my, ahead of myself. I got to tell y'all the really funny part of this story. So we, to get to her house, we had to pass the school. So we like, our administrators and things, they like used to look, look at the windows, look at the cameras. Like they would be seeing us and like, you know, they could see us at the window. So we like, we were known children. They knew us. Like, we were known. We would, because I always did my work. So, I was known for that. And my other friend was smart as well. And my best friend, she was kind of known for something else. She, <laughs> she was known for, like, being bad. Okay. So, we were all, like, they, they knew our faces, basically. So, we, like, we can't just walk past the school because then they're going to see us and they're going to know we were skipping. So, school starts at 7.15, something like that. School starts at 7.15, something like that. So, it was, at this time, it was, we was already late anyway. It was like 7.45 or something like this time. So, it was like raining or like wet and one of us had an umbrella. So, we had to walk past, y'all, we were so stupid. Thinking back to it, we could have walked the long way around and we can we we didn't even have to walk past the school but anyways so we walking past the school with the umbrella so we like okay let the umbrella up and then we're gonna hide behind the umbrella and y'all we were all together in like a little three cuddle under the umbrella trying to sneak past the school we was so stupid <laughs> We were so stupid. So we get to my friend's house and we just kicking it, watching anime with her brother. And then I don't self decide, oh, we gotta go to school. Because my friend, she's like, her mom, her mom, her mom got off like late from work. Like her mom, like not late, but she would get off early sometimes. So at this time, my friend, like, yeah, we gotta like leave because my mom is gonna show up soon, so we can't really stay here all day. At this point, it's like ten o'clock, so we like looking like, wait, like, what we gonna do? Like, we can't go to school, but guess what we end up doing? Taking our dumb selves to school at ten o'clock. So her brother, her brother, like, okay, well, you just call me and I'll vouch for you. And so we like, okay, maybe they won't say nothing. Maybe we can just say we off for the night. Or we we thinking of schemes, y'all. We like we gonna tell them we off for the night over each other's house, and we woke up at the same time. We woke up late, okay, okay. So that's what we go. That's how I play. That's what we gonna come up with. We, we. So we get there, and we thinking they just gonna be like, come here, y'all go to this period, honey. That lady got on in the comment. She was like, young ladies, it is ten o'clock. School starts at 7.15. Report to the office immediately. We looking at each other like, ah! <laughs> what? <laughs> Come to the office. Girl, we at school. Anyway, so my friend, like I told y'all, my best friend, she was like bad. So she was really cursed. She was like, I don't care. Like, okay, let's go to the office. Now my friend, my other best friend, she was like, smart like me and so she was scared because she was about to cry like she was about to cry i'm just like okay i'm just shell shocked in the middle like i know who mama called like i already had my skin divided i wasn't shaking or nothing but our friend she's throwing us off because she about to cry so we like girl get it together come on then we ain't gifts we got a story come on girl so we get to the office y'all we get to the office, they ask us, why y'all late? So I'm like, I, our story went out the window. I'm like, I wasn't planning on coming to school. They spend the night over each other's house. 
Uh, I, at this point, I'm doing all the talking. I'm like, I wasn't planning on coming to school. Them two spent the night over each other's house. And then they woke up late and they de they planning on coming to get me. And that's how we got here. Yeah. And then the principal was like, okay, why weren't you coming to school? And I was like, well, because I really didn't have anything to wear and I didn't have any paper and pencils. And she was like, we got uniforms here. We got uniforms here. We got paper and pencil here. You can wear these uniforms. You don't, that's not a, a reason for you to miss school or decide you're not coming to school, okay? So you need to be in school. Call your parents, all three of y'all. So at this point, we like, okay. So I ended up calling my aunt. And me and my aunt are really cool. Like, we really tight. Uh, we real tight. So even now, everybody knows, like, me and my aunt are really close. Or whatever. So, I called her. She was like, why are you late? And I was like, I woke up late. And she was like, okay, stop being late. And then, the principal talked to her. She was like, she cannot be late anymore. And my aunt was like, okay, stop being late. And then, that was that. So, we're telling my friend who was about to cry. We're like, okay, girl, just call your brother. Call your brother. Remember you said call him. Call him. So, her brother, y'all, can put on the best impression of their mom. Like, he put on the best impression of her, period. Like, we, when I used to call the house, I used to think it was her. So, he put on his mama impression and everything was smooth sailing for her. And then, but my girl, my best friend, she, she had to call her mom. But it ended up working out for her because she told her mom how she ended up being late. And she, her mom was looking for you. She was like, how, when you left out of this house on time, you know, you should have been at school on time because it's 10 o'clock. Where have you been all this time? You've been skipping, right? But my dad ended up vouching for her and was like, no, they ended up walking over here to get Chantel. That's why they was late. My dad, like, he did He was absolutely completely, like, he didn't know. Y'all know how dad is. Sorry, he didn't know what was going on. So he was just like, no, she's cool. She came over here to get, she came over here to get, you know, SP, and it was cool or whatever. It's cool. So... Um, it ended up, everything ended up working out. We didn't get in trouble or anything. Like, we didn't do that again, though. Well, not that. We didn't do it again in the A grade. But, you know, of course we didn't get in high school. But, you know, we're going to talk about that in another story time. That's, that'll be another story time. So, that was in there. And, like, the moral of the story, kids, don't skip school. Go to school because we could have just avoided it. We would have took our kids to school. But, anyways, I actually got, I actually, um got a deeper loving of anime out of that whole experience thanks to my friend's brother because we actually watched anime with him for so long <laughs> but i hope y'all enjoyed this story time if y'all want more videos like this drop a like you know subscribe if you haven't already um i'm trying not to make these videos so long because i have somewhere to go and the editing is gonna kill me but Good thing is, I'm still doing a giveaway at 100 subscribers that's still on, that is still on. You have to hit my naughty bell, hit the naughty bell, hit subscribe, hit the like up, post a comment, you know, and uh, I'm going to try to post at least once every week. School has started back, y'all, so bear with me. And yeah, you know how I'm going to end it? You know how I'm going to end it with? Yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, but today, honey, today is a gift. Live in the present always. Let God control what you can, and you take care of what you can, love. So, I'll see y'all on the next episode of SPTV. 